Well, let's see if this works. So I've been doing um, a bit of reading up on demoralization points here because I was like, wait a minute, it's getting, I mean, uh, getting pretty close to the fact that I have to start, uh, you know, we're getting into 1915 and whatnot. And this is stuff I just, um, like shaken morale and economic collapse and um, surrender. Okay, the surrender one's pretty easy. But it's just the numbers. Sometimes I was like, what What exactly is he meaning here? So uh, what I'm going to, well, we'll see here. This is here uh, in section 26.6. If a country suffers from shaken national morale or economic collapse, it may not conduct unsupplied attacks. And I was like, holy cow, this is pretty darn important to start cluing in. Because if you see here, Russia uh, suffers, um, it, once they get to uh, 600 demoralization points, no matter when it happens, as far as I, uh, from what I've been reading the rules, um, they will suffer uh, shaken national morale. Now hold on. Okay, they're at 304 right now. And imagine, this is just the Eastern Front. I mean, okay, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, the Ottomans are about to kick in and so on and so forth. So what I'm saying is they're about to add, get some extra... Oh, this is just like lots of stuff I have to start thinking about. Uh, hold on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I have to start thinking about, like parsing out. Um, yeah, there's some I, I'm gonna. I really would like to have like a chit chat with uh, people about this. I'm almost thinking like maybe I almost have like some kind of pre-recorded or I don't know some kind of like mini live stream form of like I don't know three people, or I can just host it and let other people chit chat. Whatever. But uh, I would like to, there's a lot of stuff. I just would like to get some stuff hammered out. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, there is what I think I'm getting. I'm getting, I'm understanding it. Okay, so here's the, here's the bit there with um, uh, the economic collapse and surrender. So as far as I know, from what I, I'm looking at it from here, the instant uh, Germany uh, hit 1,600 demoralization points, no matter when, uh, they will suffer a shaken national morale. If they suffer 1,150 within 1914, um, they'll have an economic collapse. Uh, and if they manage to have 1,300 happen to them, that you know they would be uh, they would have to surrender. And I'm assuming then that means by in 1915, let's say you were awfully close to economic collapse in 1914, you better be darn good. At least I would be. Uh, like, what in the world do you do then? You've only got about 350 demoralization points for the entire year to deal with. And um, you've got lots of fronts. Uh, you know, you got the Western and only Eastern and holy smokes. And then you're trying to help out the Austrians and so on and so forth. This is now taking on a completely another level and a different complexion. It's really getting into the big war, big war for me. It's like, I have to start thinking, it's like, holy cow, it's not like... Wow, this is just, it's getting into the, like, later on, I have to start really thinking about um, rationing, like, on an unbel like, a crazy strategic level, almost. It's just, <laughs> this is incredible uh, for me, anyways. And look at uh, Austria-Hungary. Economic collapse at only 375. And remember, in my universe, we're just playing the Eastern Front. Okay, they're only at 144. But they've got Serbia going on right now. This is like, you know, by by 1915, it's only 525. I have to start thinking about that from the Central Powers perspective. I don't want to, like, engage my Austrians every five seconds, for, like, especially in offensives. And then once you get to a, a shaken national morale, which is uh, much quicker than, um, oh, wait a minute here. Is that uh, whenever it's at 550, but if they hit five, oh, sorry. Yeah, they hit 525 at 1915. Jeez, man. Oh, so it's just, it, again, it's going to be, it's just fun, fun as hell. But this is stuff I need to talk about because I just, I'm not really sure if I get, I'm getting it, getting it. So, okay, that's it.